Hi everyone, I'm your Wallace is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into XLM Stellar. Um, once again, thank you for your continued support. I really do appreciate everything you do to contribute towards the growth of Coins Kid here. Big thumbs up to each and every one of you. We've got a Patreon group right now that's uh, blowing up. So if you want to get involved in that particular group, do head over to there. And, and, and there's some great content in there provided not only by myself, Captain, and other members of the Coins Kid team. So it's being warmly received, and there's a budding community in there, and everyone seems to be enjoying the content, which is which is golden. Okay, so it's all good. So effectively, I, I did a stellar uh, video the other day, and I was actually looking at the wrong chart, and I hold my hands up. Someone corrected me and says, "Oh, it actually created an all-time high on um, higher than that, basically." And I didn't see that. I didn't see the previous chart. So I was looking at, um, I think it was not USDT. I was looking at. Um, I forget what it was anyway, Coinbase, I forget, Kraken or something. But yeah, th that's the all-time high for Stella at $1.06, which traded on uh, Binance. Uh, roughly, uh, when was that? That was January the 1st, 2018, okay, when it made its all-time high. So obviously, I've got to amend my price prediction, and uh, the, the prediction is going forward. Obviously, it's made it a bit, little bit greater for everyone that's happy about that, so that's good. So we've not actually broken an all-time high yet. That's what I'm trying to say. We're, we're approaching it, basically, and as, as you see, we're approaching it. We're coming into levels of resistance which is great because once we break, break that you know we've got a greater price appreciation there for for uh Stella in this bull run. I would anticipate we at least get to this 1272 in this bull run. So you're looking at a $2.93 and then obviously this is a bit of a reserved extension uh, up here and obviously the blow off top extension as well at the 1618 uh, at $10. So these two predictions here, I'm pretty confident we will actually get to those. Again, not financial advice and this is a blow off top just here, the 1618, which in bull runs with that overextension there and that the euphoric and that rise, that's where we do see that sort of 1618 extension coming into play so to speak on these crypto projects in previous bull runs uh, so yeah it's looking relatively good and right now you have run into a level of resistance but this is what i always say to you if in doubt zoom out and you can see it's moving up in these beautiful waveforms on the weekly you can see right now it's got a little bit ahead of itself on the weekly and you know if it does come back like this it's perfectly healthy and this is what you're doing you're forming these beautiful waveforms up to that price prediction up there okay so so far so good it's doing relatively well you've got the bullish cross that the, the buy and go to the beach signal from coins kid which enabled us to lay down this particular fib uh, from the top to the bottom and give you these price predictions here but obviously it's got to get to its all-time high first which is at $1.06 and you can see it's making headway so right now we're just going to move in onto the Frowley um, time frame for, for XLM then so you can see XLM, we've got that price prediction there up that impulsive wave, okay? And obviously you've got the all-time high up there as well for, for XLM, which hopefully it gets to. Now you've got this level here, which we've given you before, which is a previous swing high, do you see that? And at the moment, you've sort of wicked down onto the 20 EMA. There is a bit of a reversal pattern here that it needs to hold support. And I will show you this always, full transparency, okay? So you see this when it's gone up here and it's made a high and it's rolled over and it's made a secondary high. It's called a double top, effectively. And the fact is, you're making a lower high. So so you're running out of steam so what you do you've created a, a support line in the center here and it's called a double m top pattern right there so i'm going to drop a support line in for you right now this needs to hold because if you do see stellar start to close below that at zero six three three one 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 if you do start to see stellar start to roll over and close below that you've got a breakdown target for roughly like this okay this is the breakdown target for stellar if you would, would was to see it lose that particular level of support right there you could see stellar come down to this sort of level here down at um 53 cents which would be a correction from this right point right now down to there is around about 22 percent for stella if it was to lose this particular level of support at 0633 so if you was to see it roll over and, and carry out this double m top pattern like this okay like this do you see that if it was to continue to roll over you would be looking at uh, obviously you trade as well if, you, if you're looking to short the market you trade a confirmation of the break of that key level of support right there and that would be a 16% trade right there for, for for Stella. And I'll show you exactly where it's happened before, okay? It's happened just there, okay? Where you went up, you made a high, you made a secondary high, not as high as the previous one. So you've got a little one that played out just there. You see that double M top pattern where it rolled like that, and then it, it support line, and then it rolled over, okay? And it met our target. Do you see that? There's the, the, the reversal patterns are the best, the, the best, effectively. You know, just here, you've got a, a W double bottom just there, where you've got that reversal. And when it broke the resistance, boom it carried out the reversal basically so i don't even need to draw a line i can see that that level from there to that support is the same as there from there okay long carried out so effectively you've got the same thing here where you've got rolled okay you've made that high you create the support line in the middle just there do you see that once you lost that you've gone short 
okay and you've rolled over again you've got another one there if we zoom out to the left they're all over the place like here you've rolled there you've gone up you've made a level of support in the middle you've lost it you rolled do you see that and effectively it's the same you see it all over the place this this was a big one just there do you see that this this actually carried out it's pretty much like one we've got on for ourselves right now actually this was in february so right there we'll draw this in i'll show you exactly what i mean so you've got that support line right there and you can see that what you did you struggled to you, you held it as resistant for quite a while actually so you did this sort of pattern there and then you continue to make the the lower highs so effectively a descending triangle do you see that once you lost the level of support right there you you went short basically and again you trade on confirmation look it resist it, uh, acting as support 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 once you lost support look boom come back up it is said confirmation downtrend basically a reversal pattern and from there you can see from the top there to there you can see that effectively when it went short boom look at that target map beautiful so that was perfect perfect short opportunity there uh, for, for uh, Stella and you can see it carried out so that's why this particular level here right here that I'm drawing in for you this double M top pattern just there that particular level of support is really important because if you do start to see Stella sort of go on now and fail to actually break up and, and make it and get to this high it, it's rolling over so to speak you know you, you do something like this where you're making these lower highs like I've just shown you and you're forming some kind of descending triangle like this okay if you lose this level of support you will be looking at that particular target right there for for, for XLM so I'll always keep you updated but obviously we don't need to do that we, we want it to continue don't we so you do need to adhere to this four hourly 20 EMA you see the yellow line you're in a bullish cross you're in an uptrend you're back testing the support just like you did here you start to roll a bit you got support but as long as you don't lose this particular level of support and start to come under it and hit your head hit your head then you won't carry out that correction down to that 052 for, for XLM so come to your charts draw your support lines and you'll see what I mean okay but so far so good we're in a bull market you're holding support nicely if we can now go on to invalidate this as well by the way that you can invalidate this particular pattern uh, by breaking this high so you do need to see uh, XLM obviously break that break that high there of 077 to invalidate that double M top pattern or effectively if it continues to sort of trade downwards like this this descending triangle okay you can invalidate it by breaking that high so that's basically um, XLM I hope you enjoyed that update it's just a quick update to, to keep you on the table uh, with uh, keep keep you updated with what's going on with XLM take care everybody bye bye